Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to share with you a citizenship interview based on the actual applicants experiences. This video will provide you with a great idea about the interview format and what you should expect. By the end of the interview, you will be more confident and be well prepared for the test. Now, let's get started. Good morning. How can I help you today? Good morning. I'm here for my U.S. citizenship interview. Can you show me your appointment letter and your ID, please? Here you go. Thank you. Okay, I got your information. Here's your appointment letter and ID. Please have a seat in the waiting area. We will call you once your appointment is ready. Thank you. No problem. Jason Chan? That's me. I'm Officer Kira. I will conduct your citizenship interview today. Nice to meet you. Hi, Officer Kira. Nice to meet you, too. Please follow me. Of course. Please remain standing, and we will do the oath first. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. You can sit down now. Thank you. How is your day going so far? I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you, officer? Very good. How long have you been waiting? Not too long. Just about 20 minutes. How was the traffic getting here? Not bad. It took me about 30 minutes to get here. How are you eligible to become a U.S. citizen? I am over 18 years old and I have been a green card holder for more than six years. I need to take your biometrics. Now, put your right index finger on the scanner. Okay, and please put your left index finger on the scanner for me. I will take your picture. Please look at the camera. Perfect. Now we start the interview. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Can you show me your green card, your passport, and a state-issued ID, please? Here they are. Sorry, officer, but my green card expired last month. Is that an issue? This is your 10-year green card, correct? Yes. Okay, that's not a problem. 
Tell me why you are here today. I am here for my U.S. citizenship test. Do you know why you want to become an American citizen? I believe in the Constitution, and I also want to vote in the next election. Good. Do you need to use the restroom before we start? No, I am fine, thank you. That's right. Now let's start with the English reading and writing test. Please read the sentence on the tablet for me. Where is the White House? Good. Now write the sentence on the tablet. Can, you can use the stylus pen. The White House is in Washington, D.C. The White House is in Washington, D.C. Correct. You passed the English reading and writing test. Now, let's move on to the civics questions. In this portion, you only need to answer six questions correctly to pass. First question, what are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life. Liberty. Correct. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democratic and Republican. That's right. Who is the father of our country? I'm sorry. Can you say that more slowly? Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Good. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. Correct. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. That's correct. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18. Great. You got all six correct and passed this portion of the interview. Now I will review your application form to make sure that everything is correct. Did you get your green card through a family member? Yes, I did. Who was the sponsor for your green card? My mother. What date did you get your green card? June 21st, 2017. Okay, what is your full name? Jason Chan. Your last name is Chan? That's right. You don't go by any other name. Could you please repeat the question? Have you used any other name since you came here? No, just one name. Some people change their name when they become U.S. citizens. Do you want to change your name? No, I don't. I want to keep my name the same. What is your social security number? 423-58-7343 All right. Your date of birth is July 9th, 1991. Is that correct? 
Correct. And what's your country of nationality? Canada. Are you still a citizen of Canada? Yes, that's right. Has your address changed since you sent in the application? Yes, I just moved four months ago. What was the reason for that move? The rent was too expensive. Good reason. Tell me your new address. 16100 Space Center Boulevard, Houston, Texas, 77062. I live in an apartment. What county is that? It is in Houston County. Did you file the AR-11 form? No, I didn't do that. You need to fill out this form within 10 days whenever you move. Okay, I will do that next time I move. Where do you receive mail? I receive mail at P.O. Box 2437. Let me update that. What's your phone number with the area code? 713-245-8324. Good. Are your parents U.S. citizens? My mother is a U.S. citizen, but my father died a couple of years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me your mother's name and date of birth. Her name is Leah Roy, and date of birth is May 1st, 1960. When did she become an American citizen? Since April 2011. Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Yes. Tell me your height. Five feet and five inches. What is your eye color? Black. Tell me your hair color. Black. What race are you? I am white. Are you currently working? Yes, I have a full-time job in Castle Montessori. And what is your position there? Sorry, can you say that again? Your occupation, your job. What do you do in Castle Montessori? Oh, I'm a Spanish teacher. When did you begin that job? It was in April 2019. Have you worked anywhere else since you came to America? I worked in Spanish Millennium before. And do you remember the dates that you worked there? It's hard to remember. I think it was June 2017. Good. It says here that you've made two trips out of the country during the last five years. Yes, officer. How many days in total did you spend outside the U.S.? 62 days. Have you taken any other trips since you applied for the application? 
No, officer. All right. When did you leave the United States with your most recent trip? November 3rd, 2022. When did you return to the United States? I came back on December 5th, 2022. Where did you go? I went to Vietnam for an annual vacation. Wonderful. You are divorced, right? Yes, I am divorced. Do you know when that happened? May 25th, 2021. And you got a divorce in Texas? Yes. Okay, can you tell me the name of your ex-wife? Rami Lee. Is she a U.S. citizen? No, she has a green card. So is she a permanent resident? Yes. What is her country of citizenship? Canada. Do you have your divorce decree with you? Yes, here it is. Thank you. Do you have any children? Yes, I have one girl. What's her name? Linda Chan. Where does your daughter live? She lives with my ex-wife in New York. When was she born? She was born on May 17th, 2017. Did you pay child support? Yes, I pay for it online every month. Good. Please show me the documentation. Here you go. Thank you. And is she your biological daughter? That's right. Where was she born? My daughter was born in the U.S. Let's move on to the next section. Please ask me to speak slowly if you can't hear me clearly. Have you ever said you are a U.S. citizen? No. Do you always file your taxes since getting your green card? Yes, I always pay my taxes on time. Do you own any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Did you bring your tax returns for the past five years? Yes. Please show them to me. Here you go. Good. Have you ever voted in any U.S. election? No. Did you ever lie about being a U.S. citizen? No, never. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on any tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? 
No, officer. Why is that? Because I live in the U.S., I am a resident. Good. Do you have a title like a prince or princess or an order of nobility in your country? No. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No, never. Have you ever persecuted, either directly or indirectly, any person because of race, religion, national origin membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with a terrorist organization? No. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? No. Did you ever sell weapons to anyone or give weapons to anyone? No, never. Have you ever sold illegal drugs or narcotics? No. Do you know what illegal drugs or narcotics are? Like cocaine and heroin. That's right. Do you believe in religious freedom? Yes, I do. Have you ever married someone to get immigration benefit? No. Were you ever member of a military unit? No. Have you ever been arrested or committed a crime? No, officer. Have you ever drunk too much alcohol regularly? No. Have you ever gambled illegally? No. What does gamble mean? To play a game for money. Have you been arrested, cited, or detained by any law officer by any reason? No, but once I got an inspection sticker in May 2021. The fine was under $200. How did you handle it? I paid the fine online. Did you bring the traffic document with you? Yes, here you go. Thank you. Any other arrests? No. Has a jury ever told you that you were guilty of breaking the law? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, never. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. What is fraudulent? To be dishonest or intending to deceive. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. 
Did you register for selective service? Yes, I did. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. What is the oath of allegiance? A promise to be loyal to the United States. That's right. Do you support the Constitution and form of government in the United States? Yes. If the government needs your help, will you use weapons to fight in the U.S. military? Yes, I will. Good. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to do work of national importance under civilian direction? I don't understand. Are you willing to help your community in a time of emergency, for example, a flood or an earthquake? Yes, I can do that. Great. And do you promise that everything you said is true? Yes, I do. Please look at the tablet and review your application. If everything is correct, please sign and print your name at the last page. Everything looks good to me. Here is a copy of your test result. Congratulations, you've passed the interview and I have submitted my recommendation for your approval. Did you apply online? Yes, I did. Great. And you should get a notification in your account in the next 24 to 48 hours for your approval if there's no other issues. And then you should be able to schedule your oath ceremony. That would be great. Do you have any questions for me? No, I don't have any questions. I am so happy. Let me walk you back to the waiting area. Thank you. Thank you for watching. For more U.S. Citizenship Help Guide, click on the subscribe button and notification bell. Good luck and goodbye.